Hello, I'm Dr. Chun. Today, we will focus on parasternal short axis view. We will go over on how to position and scan. Parasternal short axis view is a basic scan for cardiac. We can scan with both curve and sector to scan. I will use the sector transducer to demonstrate. When you choose cardiac preset, the probe indicator in the upper left of the screen will change to the right. Now where should we place the probe? Place the probe in the center of the sternum and nipples, at the intersection, closer to the left sternal border. Let's place the probe in a transverse position. Turn the probe towards the patient's right shoulder. We need to first find the parasternal long axis view. Once we see the standard parasternal long axis view, Turn the probe to a 90 degree rotation towards the patient's left shoulder. Now we can see the parasternal short axis view on the screen. We can also see clearly how the left atrium contracts. We can adjust the probe to the apex, slowly adjust it to papillary muscles. Let's tilt a little more towards the base. It's possible we can see the mitral valve. This is the key point when scanning the short axis. Observe the scanning position and imaging on the screen. This help us understand the correlation. Concentric circle is showing in left atrium, between the left and right sides of the heart. And if there is a problem with the contraction, we can observe it may be coming either from the septum, anterior, lateral or posterior inferior. If the patient has massive pulmonary embolism, it may cause the interventricular septum tilt to the left and becoming a large D-shaped. That's all for today's tutorial. Stay tuned with the upcoming videos.